This woman thought she'd rescued a cat, but her grandson cracked up when she saw its real identity. As an animal lover, one lady was more than happy to open up her house to what she believed was a homeless cat. Shortly after the rescue, however, her grandson grew suspicious of the animal. Then he discovered its shocking true identity. One kind-hearted grandmother in Kansas just loved cats. She couldn't bear to see kitties out on the street. As a result, she'd often let strays from the neighborhood into her home where she could provide food and shelter. The grandmother enjoyed hosting homeless cats so much, in fact, that she'd even converted her porch into a makeshift cattery. She'd done her best to make the space snug, filling it with beds and food. And she consequently had a steady stream of feline visitors that were free to come and go as they pleased. As a result, the lady's grandson, Eric Hurtline, often met new furry friends at his grandmother's house. During a recent visit to see her, however, Hurtline met a creature that he won't forget in a hurry. During his visit, the young man went to check on the current batch of strays in his grandmother's porch, but this time there was one animal that particularly stood out, and that was because it didn't look anything like the other animals. The creature in question had an elongated face, a stout little body, and a hairless tail. And upon closer inspection, Hurtline realized that the animal wasn't a cat at all. It was actually a possum, which he believed must have sneaked into the house under the radar. The presence of a wild animal in his grandmother's home understandably alarmed Hurtline. Some people consider possums to be pests, given their tendency to steal pet food and rifle through garbage. So Hurtline wasn't sure how to tell his grandma about the imposter. In the end, he decided to gently ask about his grandmother's new friend. She told me that it was one of her cats. Hurtline informed Love Meow in December 2017. What's more, she revealed that she'd been feeding the animal for some time and had already christened him Teat. Hurtline decided that now was the time to break the news to his grandma. He told her that her new friend was not a cat, as she'd first thought, the concerned grandson then explained that the creature was actually a possum. The revelation came as quite a surprise to Hurtline's grandmother. I laughed for a good five minutes, he subsequently told the dodo. She didn't realize what I was laughing about until I started pointing out the pointy nose and skinny tail. She didn't realize it wasn't a cat. After taking a closer look at her furry friend, a smile emerged across Hurtline's grandmother's face. She looked up at me and said, well, he hasn't bothered anybody yet, so why not? With a big grin on her face, Hurtline told Love Meow. There was no way of telling for sure where Teat had come from. Hurtline had a theory that the animal had become orphaned at a young age. Still, luckily for the possum, it had found an adoptive mom and Hurtline's grandmother. There wasn't much that she could do to prevent Teat from returning now, even if she'd wanted to. So he continued to pay her visits on a regular basis and pretty much behaved like all the other strays. He's been laid up on the porch with all the other cats, a bemused Hurtline revealed. So it seemed that everyone had accepted Teat into the fold. Hurtline's grandmother treated the animal like he was just another cat. And amazingly, the real felines did too. Having arrived at the house as a baby, it seemed that the possum had somehow fit right in to the clan of kitties. The only thing that made Teat slightly different was that he didn't like people touching him. He's a pretty friendly one. He loves sitting on the porch with the other cats, but seldom lets people pet him, Hurtline explained. So everything worked out for Teat, Hurtline, and his grandmother, and they couldn't help but see the funny side of the mix-up. Hurtline found the whole incident so amusing, in fact, that he decided to post about it on Twitter. Alongside an image of Teat relaxing with his feline friends, Hurtline wrote, My grandmother has been taking care of a possum these last couple months, thinking it was just another cat. What is you doing, Grams? And Hurtline's post proved to be a hit online. Soon, it had racked up hundreds of likes. 
Moreover, it also attracted the attention of a number of online news outlets, including one as far away as Japan. While the appearance of the possum might have been a shock for Hurtline at first, his grandmother's kindness was not. Her caring nature meant that her grandson wasn't surprised even when she vowed to keep caring for Teat. His grandma's generosity got Hurtline to thinking that maybe we could all learn a little something from her. She loves animals and taking care of them whenever she can, he said. It kind of just motivates you to do better and treat other beings better too.